Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to let you know exactly what you can do with a small 50 amp lithium iron phosphate battery. And this one is from Time USB and a 500 watt inverter. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to play Fortnite on my 65 inch TV with my Xbox. So let's go ahead and get it all hooked up and see if it will actually work. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is that I've already got the TV and the Xbox plugged in to this power bar right here. That white cord goes into the wall and it goes up uh, to another spot that plugs in my TV. Um, and then the black cord is my Xbox. So, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this part into this uh, watt meter right here so we can monitor how much AC wattage we're using. Okay, now that we got our extension cord all plugged into our watt meter, let's go ahead and get the battery plugged into the inverter. And what's nice about this battery is, first of all, it's super light and convenient. We'll just set it right back there. And then we have our 500 watt inverter and it has alligator clips right here or battery clamps, however you want to talk about it. We'll take these off and we are just going to clamp these directly on there. Just like that. No problem. And since it's such a small inverter, I don't worry about there being a, a big spark or anything like that. I just clamp it on. Let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. Okay, green light's on. And then all we gotta do is just plug it in. Okay, I just reset uh, the watt meter so it's completely cleared out. It does show that we are getting 116 volts from this inverter. So that should be plenty safe to be able to plug in this TV and this Xbox. Okay, so we have our, uh, our battery plugged into our inverter and it is running to that extension cord that I have back behind this cabinet stuff. And so everything is plugged in, so let's go ahead and turn the TV on. And then let's go ahead and turn the Xbox on. Then we just need to switch the input of the TV to where the Xbox is plugged in. And there we go. It's actually up and running. Look at that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's check out how many watts are coming out of the AC side. All right, and our inverter actually shows, let's see, it's 116 volts coming out of the inverter. And our wattage is 130 watts. And actually now that it's uh, up and running, the wattage is now hovering right around between 215 and 220 watts. So that is plenty okay for this battery. And if you gotta think that this is a 640 watt hour battery, that means that you could probably run this setup um, for over, over two hours. Um, and I say that, and you're probably thinking like, well, that's 220 and that's 640. Shouldn't that be closer to three? No, because you got to think about the inefficiencies between the inverter and the wiring to the battery. So let's go ahead and figure out what is actually being pulled from the battery now. And in order to do that, you will need a multimeter with an amp meter clamp on there so you can measure the volts and the amps. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is measure the volts. Let's go ahead and set it to DC, light it up so you can see it, and let's measure, let's measure, measure the voltage of the battery. Okay, the voltage of the battery is 12.9, okay? So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator, 12.90, and we are going to be multiplying that by what the amperage is coming out of the battery. So we're gonna set it to DC amperage 
and we'll hit clear to clear it or to zero it. There we go. And then we'll just put it on the negative. And we are getting 18.2. So all we gotta do is multiply the voltage, which was 12.9, times the amperage, which is 18.2, and we get 234 watts. That's on the DC side coming directly out of the battery. And on the AC, on the AC monitor right now, it shows 200, it shows 212 watts coming out of it. So let's go ahead and take this. Uh, we'll just say 235. So we're going to say 212 divided by 235 equals 90. So that means that little inverter is 90% efficient. So whatever, whatever your little uh, watt meter, your AC watt meter says, you want to multiply another 10% onto that. And that gives you the true wattage of what's being taken out of the battery. Since it's a 640 watt hour battery, we're going to divide that by 235, which was the watts being taken out. And that equals 2.7. So, so we're going to get 2.7 hours of life from this setup while playing our Xbox on our 65 inch TV. So of course, in order to play Fortnite, I would need to update it. But that's besides the point. I just wanted to show that even with a small 50 amp battery, you can get multiple hours of use out of it from a 65 inch TV and you can actually play Xbox games. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, if you have any questions about this whole setup, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.